to minus into the point where you are. This is a shader, working as a stent person. That is part of the mechanic. Much of it will be in the Today, we are going to discuss about the engineering mechanics subject. In that subject, we are going to discuss about what is mechanics, fundamental concepts, fundamental laws of mechanics. These three topics are covered today. So, here, what is the mechanics? The mechanics is defined as the, it is a branch of science which deals with the physical state of, which deals with the effect of the forces on object. In another dimension, there is a branch of science which deals with the physical state of rest or motion of the body under the external force. It is nothing but the engineering mechanics. Whatever the objects, those are the solid objects or fluid objects. The study of the behavior of the bodies is nothing but the engineering mechanics. These engineering mechanics are divided to mainly two types. Those are the mechanics of solids and mechanics of fluids. In case of mechanics of solids, those can be divided into mechanics of rigid bodies, mechanics of deformed bodies. Here in mechanics of rigid bodies, the body which does not undergoes any deformation by the attack of that is called as a rigid bodies. Here we are studying about the rigid bodies, that is nothing but a mechanics of rigid bodies. And next one is the deformed bodies. Deformed bodies means when you are applying the load, the body will deform. That is called as the deformed bodies. Your concentration of the behavior of the bodies of the deformed bodies, which is the mechanics of deformed bodies. Here, this mechanics of which bodies are again divided into statics and dynamics. And also in the mechanics of deformed bodies also divided into theory of velocity and theory of velocity. And here the mechanics of rigid bodies those are divided into statics and also dynamics. Statics means in the branch of mechanics which deals with the study of the body. The body is at a rest, that is nothing but a statics. And dynamics means if a body the study of the bodies, the bodies are in a motion that is called as a dynamics. These dynamics are again divided into kinetics and kinematics. Here, kinematics means does not cause the motion. When you are studying the body, that bodies are in that bodies are in motion, which does not cause of the motion, that is called as kinematics. Why you are concerned the causes of motion? That is nothing but kinetics. These are the classification of the mechanics of solid bodies. In the same way, mechanics of fluids, these are again for the structure of body, ideal fluids, viscous fluids, incompressible fluids. This is the mainly classification of engineering mechanics. Here, the first part of the fundamental concept is rigid body. Rigid body means a body is said to be rigid if relative position of any which does not change under the action of the forces. That is nothing but a rigid body. In simple definition, rigid body means does not deform while you are applying a load. That is called as a rigid body. This is the figures. So, the initial figure, that is a figure A shows the rigid body. On that body, you are applying the three forces. That is the figure B is indicated three forces. So that the F1 and F2 F3. Before applying the load, the body is same. After applying the load, the body also is same. On the situation, the bodies are the rigid bodies. Because that means does not deform while you are applying the load. That is nothing but the rigid bodies. And next one is the statics. And next one is the static. Static science is a branch of science which deals with the which deals with the effect of the force on the body, that bodies are in a rest position, does not move the objects. While you are studying the while you are studying the object, that object must be in a rest position. But next one is the dynamics, which dynamics means the 
effect are the process on moving. In previous that is the body in the next position. But in case of well being in the next, the body is on the motion. And next one is the kinetics. Here kinetics means which which deals with the motion of the body is on the process which are causing the motion. Whatever the causes of the motion that will be considered is called as a kinetics and does not consider the causes of motion that is called as a kinetics. Here kinetics means the motion of the body is without considering the causes of motion. Here there are kinetics and that both are the sub branch of the dimensions. Here if you consider the causes of motion that is called as a kinetics. Without consider the causes of motion that is called as a kinetics. The next point is the scalar quantity. Scalar quantity means only magnitude. That is the only quantity that to be scalar. That is only referred to magnitude. Examples of the scalar quantities are time, volume, speed, density, mass. Those are the scalar quantities. And next one is the vector quantity. Vector quantity means that gives the both magnitude. Also, direction, both magnitude and direction. Here, the example of this vector quantity, of course, is a vector quantity, displacement also vector quantity, velocity, acceleration, and momentum. These are all the some examples of the vector quantity. Here, in scalar and vector quantity, you know, engineering mechanics is very critical, very important. That's why you are discussing about this scalar quantities and also. Vector quantities. In vector, there is nothing but both magnitude and direction. But in the case of scalar, only magnitude. So, the examples of both scalar quantities and vector quantities are given here. In the case of scalar quantity, the examples of the problem is the time, volume, speed, density, masses, and vector quantities are the velocity, acceleration, force, displacement, momentum. momentum. These are the sum of the Examples of the vector quantities. And another fundamental, another fundamental concept is the mass. Mass is the quantity of the matter possessed by a body is called as a mass. The quantity of the matter possessed by a body is called as a mass. The mass of the body will not change unless the body is damaged and the part of it is, is, is a physically separated. So, Mass is always constant at any place. And next one is the time. Time is a measure of the succession of events. And next one is the space. The geometry region with which study of the body is is called as a space. So these are the fundamental concepts. Mass of mass, time, space. And next one is the length and displacement. These are the very important. Then it is the concept of measuring linear distance. It is the concept to measure linear distance is nothing but a length. Displacement means that the displacement is defined as the distance moved by a body or particularly in the specific direction. Here this diagram shows me this diagram shows me A B is nothing but a length, that is the linear distance and A and a B dash, here A B dash is different as the length. A B is different as the displacement. There is a difference between the length and displacement. Length means it is the concept of vision, linear distance, that is the polarity, straight path. There is a linear distance and displacement is different as the distance to a body or particle in specific direction. That is the displacement. There is another Fundamental concepts of the mechanics. And next one is the velocity. Rate of change of displacement with respect to time. Rate of change of displacement with respect to time is defined as the velocity. And next one is the acceleration. Acceleration means it is the rate. Acceleration rate of change of velocity with respect to time. That is the same acceleration. Acceleration is defined as the e, so that is the So, momentum is equal 
system do not lie in a single plane. That may be two or more forces that may be acting on a single plane or different planes. If single plane is acting, that is called as co-plane. If two or more planes are acting, that is called as non-co-plane. Here, on the other hand, single plane is a single system. Suppose we space. If the line of action of all forces in the system causes a single point, that is called as a concurrent force system. Concurrent force system. If the line of action of all forces are in a single line, then the called as a collinear force system. Here, the system of forces. Here we are applying the graphical representation of the system of forces. Here we are observing the collinear forces. Collinear forces means the line of action of all forces lies on the same plane, same line. Here we are applying the F1 vertical here, F2 vertical here. So the line of action of these two forces on the same line that is called as a co-plane, collinear force system. And co-plane are parallel forces. Co-plane are mean if two or more forces acting on a single plane. Two or more forces acting on a single plane, single plane, that is called as a co-planar, co-planar force system. Here, co-planar parallel force system means if two or more forces acting on a single plane, those line of action parallel to each other, that is called as a co-planar parallel force system. This diagram shows me that these four forces acting on a single plane. Those single planes are here. There is the downward direction, upward direction, downward direction. These four are parallel to each other. That's the co-planar parallel force system. Here, these parallel force systems are again divided into two types. That is the like parallel force system and like parallel force system. Like parallel force system means the four or two or more forces acting on a single plane, acting on a Single plane, they line up at each other, parallel to each other, and direction in one direction. Only one direction, that is called as like parallel. Here, there are four forces of the downward direction. That's why we are called as the like parallel. If these are the some forces are downward forces, some forces are upward forces, those are the unlike parallel forces. Unlike parallel forces. And next one is the Co-planar concurrent force system. Co-planar means if two or more forces acting on a single plane, that is a co-planar. And co-planar concurrent means the line of action of the all forces meet at a single point, that is called as the co-planar concurrent forces. And non-concurrent forces means two or more forces acting on a single plane does not meet a line of action. That is called as the co-plane and non-concurrent forces. This diagram shows me the source of all the forces is the R. These are the 1, 2, 3, 4 forces happening, but those are the not happening in the line of action. That is called as the non-concurrent force system. And next one is the non-co-plane force system. Non-co-plane means if two or more forces happening on the different planes, those are called as the Non-coplanar non force system. Here, non-coplanar pattern means two or more forces, two or more forces are acting in different ways, but their line of action parallel to each other, that is called as non-coplanar parallel force system. And along with the non-coplanar concrete force system. Here, the line of action of the all forces is at a single point, but their line of action. They got the applied force of the different plane. Here, this is the diagram shows the non coplanar non force system. And another one is the non coplanar non concrete Non coplanar plane, two or more forces are acting in different planes, that is called as the non coplanar. And their line of action does not mean that is still called that is called as non coplanar non concrete forces. Those are the, these are the four force system. Unclassification of the system. Our next one is the next fundamental law is the Nether's first law, Nether's second law, Nether's third law.
sides of the polygon and opposite side of the polygon take the resultant of the all forces is taken in common dimension in the polygon of forces this the upon is a force 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 forces this force forces are defined in four sides of the polygon four sides of the polygon and the closing side you are taking as the closing side that is the F1, F3, F4 and also that is the result in the PSD closing side and the next side is R1 those closing side you are taking as the result in the PSD and you are taking as the F1 you are taking as the four forces of the polygon that is the result in the four forces that is the one in the forces thank you, thank you for this video for watching it Yeah, I'm not going to